I'm going to be doing my very first makeup tutorial. Not really. First, what we want to do is, I mean, we're just going to kind of go for sort of a daytime look. What we're going to do is we're going to get our foundation. You know, this is Neutrogena Skin Clearing Oil Free Makeup with the Micro Clear technology. So you kind of like want to shake it up because it's a glass bottle so it all sinks to the bottom and you can't like squeeze it on your hand or anything like that. So we're going to put some on our hand because it's just easier that way as opposed to like putting it on a sponge. Then you take your brush, you know, and you kind of kind of want to like put it on like that. It's okay if you don't put a whole lot on. It's okay if you put it on really thick. And see, this kind of creates like the Voldemort effect. Then you want to take your concealer, which this is the Maybelline Dream Matte Powder. So you kind of put that on. Next, what you want to do is you want to take your blush. And this is Dior. I'm not sure what color. But we're just going to kind of put this on the cheekbones. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the eyebrows. Now, the eyebrows are very crucial. And I know that everyone's like, oh, it's just a thing right now. It's not going to be super big like later on. It's a thing. Leave it alone. So what you want to do is you want to start off here. And you kind of just want to... Don't even try to like match the shape of your eyebrows. Just kind of go with it, you know? Like, let it flow. And whenever you start to run out because you don't have a sharpener with you at the moment, that's fine. Leave it. Next, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing our eyeshadow. And this is Too Faced, and I got it from Sephora. So it's super nice, and it's kind of like neutral tones, really. So I'm going to take my brush, and this is going to go just kind of all over the eye, really. Just everywhere. Like from the brow bone, all over the lid everything just kind of go with it. so you have that I don't know if you can see that it's very nice I'm very pale so you probably can't see it next we have this color it's called honey pot it's gold and you just kind of want to put that on your eyelid and you want to do the same thing for both eyes and then this last one is called chocolate martini and I think this can just kind of go towards the edges like that you know don't focus on blending it too much just gonna put it on there because who has time you know who really has time next what we're gonna do is we're going to take our eyeliner I'm using a liquid to kind of create like a bold look you can do whatever you want. I'm personally, I'm going to do a winged. So what you want to do is you want to start out here and you want to draw it to the corner of your eye. And you want to go along like that. Repeat the steps. Fill it in. Don't worry about making it too much even to both sides, you know? So we have that. You can see how it's not even, but you know what? Life's not perfect. So we're just going to get over it. We're going to move on. Don't even wait for it to dry. Just keep going. Because, you know, if it's a little smear, it just shows, hey, I'm a mess. But aren't we all? Next, we're going to curl our eyelashes. Now, some people don't like this because they don't find it comfortable. But really, personally, I just find it super comfortable. You just gotta gotta like pull out a little bit while you're doing it. Then we have our mascara. Now this is the Colossal Volume Express by Maybelline. And this is for cat eyes. You just kinda if you get a little bit on your eyelid, it's fine. Just keep going. Because once again, we're all messes in life. Everything just kind of goes at once. And whoops, I got a little bit on the side of my nose. 
but who cares? Next we have lipstick because you gotta finish this off with a bold lip and this is Rimmel London. This is Red Alert. This is the moisture new kind. It's really nice. It smells good. So you kind of want to go like that, starting off there. And that is my day-to-day -day look. Now, you can do this for a party. You can do this for just, like, going to work. You can do this for going to school. Um, the lipstick was inspired by my role model, Miranda Sings. That's all for today. Um, please like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Also, leave comments down below about what you would like to see me do in the future. And I'll see you next week. Bye!